I, I think the clause just come off to talk, <laughs> talking about exactly what you put in the contract. So those are the key things that you're going to be discussing in terms of your sales versus your target. You know, what your top, what's your, what's your pipeline development like? Uh, you know, what new accounts have you got? What are your stock holdings? You know, what are the sales into the market? Because it's not just about how much have I sold to you. If you for, for you to really understand the health of your business, it's what's that distributor selling into the market on a regular basis? You know, and then, you know, looking at objections that they're coming up with and objection handling. Uh, and I think that um, I, I would expect in terms of the frequency of those things, it's almost like just managing any aspect in your business. It almost just morphs into one because I, I would expect that my distributors in their own business would be doing some kind of monthly report for their own uh, business. So I want to have access to that monthly report. There might be a few other things that I want from them, but you try to make sure it's not too onerous so that people aren't doing things twice so that you try to work together and say, right, what are the things we need? If what you couldn't be doing, well, all right, let's just use what you're doing and add on these two things. So I'd, I'd always expect a monthly report uh, and probably, you know, a, a light touch in terms of, you know, you probably have a call with them following the monthly report just as, you know, so, just so people know, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy, I'm not happy. They've got, they've got questions, they've got queries. So again, going back to that, having an open, honest communication quarterly, um, you can do, but I'll just do that as part of your, your it, my, I, I would expect that I'll be going on field visits or somebody from the company would be going on field visits at least once a quarter. And that's when they would then pick up um, any uh, things outside of the uh, monthly report. And then you'd include some, you know, update training as and when necessarily in that in that um, face to face. And then annually, then you're going to have an in-depth review of the success, uh, failures, improvements to be made, etc. So I think it just becomes one continuum that whereby rather than saying right this is now an official um quarterly review well we're having a monthly review anyway effectively with a monthly report and then an annual review is just, is just standard and then the quarterly is just fitted in as and when you get you're in the market perfect I, I, one thing i'd add from my perspective is just that uh you know obviously revenue or sales is a trailing indicator and those other metrics that hakeem has described and paul described are leading indicators that will, so you're not surprised by either an influx of sales or a dip in sales because you're in, in touch with those, those leading indicators at whatever they might be in your case.